Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, they're going to be reacting to Family Guy roasting everything black. Guys, let's get straight into this. I was brought up on the streets, no moms and dads. I had to fend for myself with my own two hands. But today I'm hurt, and I'll tell you why. I got a hangnail. Hangnail. Hanging from my cuticle, a hangnail. Hangnail. It ain't beautiful. It hurts like a bitch that I did last night. I'd have to pretend not to notice people's race day. Hey, you seen Reggie around? Which one is Reggie? Uh, he's got a gold tooth, a uh, diamond earring. Um, he's got that big necklace with a dollar sign on it. Uh... He's always grabbing his crotch when he's telling a story, like the one about when he found out his mother is really his grandmother. Uh, he always wears cheap cologne, uh, never pays his alimony. Uh, he's extremely cut for a guy who never works out. Oh, there he is. Thanks, anyway. Hey, Reggie! I think we're in Germany. Look, there's the Black Forest. We're gonna take the whole family on vacation this summer. The ten of us gonna load up the Impala and head on down to Hot Atlanta. Hey, I heard that. Hey, thanks for the tip on that check cashing place. I was in and out with one ID. You know my boy is out on bail next week, right? Man, it seems like yesterday he was in juvie. Guys, we should go to that auction tomorrow and buy it. I mean, can you imagine if we had our own medieval castle? I bet it'd be even more fun than when I went to White Castle. Huh. Name's a little deceiving. That truck's coming up on us awful fast. Holy crap! Do you see what I see? I'm afraid I do. We're being chased by ghosts! And nothing to console me but the screaming black dolphins. Man, that dollar's getting all over town. <laughs> yeah, like your mama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, man, you know I'm just playing. Hey, man, you seen that movie, The Cove? The Cove? How you just gonna be talking about The Cove? I mean, I saw the movie, but I was like, oh, Oh, honey, I'm so excited to finally meet your girlfriend. Here she comes now. Yoo-hoo, baby! Oh, no! All right, let's check our YouTube channel and see how we're doing. Boy, they just went right after Cleveland, didn't they? Geez, that word looks even harsher when it's in all caps. This company's gonna make it on my ideas. Here are the products we'll be unveiling in the new fiscal year. The African-American Heart Monitor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he did. Let's find out who you really are. It's old man Barney Frank. And I would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for you meddling Republicans. Thanks for all your help, Globetrotters. That was a cold swish. Put her there. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Do you guys want to see a dead body? Cleve, it's 1955. Please re-enter the clubhouse in a more stereotypically animated fashion. Lord almighty, I done see me a dead body down by the lake. Sure enough, I thought I'd go deep and dumb when I saw me that dead body. Cleve, calm down. You're not making any sense. If I were you, I'd keep your mouth shut till you talk to a lawyer. I didn't kill anybody. <gasps> oh, my God. Is this what black people see all the time? You know, I usually don't come to funerals. Since I'm a cop, I always wind up getting hit by a black woman with a purse. You find the man who uh, did this. Ma you what's bring your him relationship to, to Brian? You make sure this angel sure child right didn't funeral? die for nothing. Ma'am, Brian's the world a dog. Why you became a cop. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Lois, what are your parents doing here? Oh, they surprised us with a visit after I told them about your recent discovery. Yes, Peter, we hear you're a Negro now. Yep, I even got my own posse. Hey, uh, Big Dog, T-Bone, Shades, uh, you guys go make yourself some sandwiches. We'll hook up later. My jacket's in the kitchen. Please don't write on it. The same way Paula Dean got her cooking show taken off the air. By saying the one word you can't come back from. What? Say the word? Right now? Yeah. Together. Ready? You bet. <gasps> you could have just quit the show. Uh-oh. Hey, you're that black guy I saw in the news conference, ain't you? Oh, uh, yeah, that's me. This is car 15. I'm gonna need backup. I've got a stolen vehicle here. But this is my car. The suspect's getting belligerent. What? Officer down. <laughs> well, we did it. We actually made a movie. Yeah, I don't want to call this a movie. We made a film. We made a film, guys. Here we go. <laughs> This is garbage. I'm just happy for a night out. Ah, uh, listen to these lyrics. 
I rip it hardcore like porno flick bitches. I roll with groups of ghetto bastards with biscuits. Oh, look, they got a translation for white people. I give 110% when it comes to helping my community, even though I occasionally associate with some less than reputable characters. I, I, so I'm chilling in Verona when my homie busts out with, Yo, Romeo, check out that biatch Juliet in the window. Problem is, Juliet's peeps are like East Coast rappers, and my posse's representing West Saeed. Just like my boys Tupac and Biggie, know what I'm saying? That's racist, man. <laughs> yeah, that's just straight ignorant, dog. Peter, what are you doing, crack? What the fuck? Hey, at least I'm not drinking, Brian. Yeah, this isn't exactly a good substitute. Where'd you get crack? From Black's. What? Yeah, right behind Black's hardware store. There's a white guy selling it. Briss, you can't join the army. You're too young. Besides, the army's weak. Now the Marines, those are the men you want to Are you kidding, Lois? The army's great. You get to save money for college, there's free food, and all the brown people you can rape. Peter, where are you going? Last day on Earth, last chance to do this. I'm going into the inner city, and I'm going to yell the N-word. <laughs> They respected me for saying it. Sending a selfie to Bonnie and Donna. Rose, bitches! Don't hit Sam! Please don't, Please hit, don't Sam. hit Sam! And send! You son of a bitch! I told you! What did he do now? He don't listen to you! He don't listen to you! What, you dating that guy? It's just a lot to take in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're telling me. Oh, come on. Those kinds of jokes aren't helping. Well, what do you want me to say? You're being silly. I mean, Jerome and I dated over 12 inches ago. <laughs> it's an inch. What did I just say? You know, you shouldn't be poking around out here. White men have been spotted nearby, laying traps and forming slow-pitch softball leagues. Well, whatever makes them happy. Live and let live, that's what I say. And I'm sure that's what they say, too. Hello, I'm Cleveland from South Carolina. Wow, you're a different color than me. Would you like to be equals? We now return to Rodney, King of Queens. Rodney, did you take out the trash? Oh, uh, I forgot. <laughs> oh, no, she didn't. Hey, Stewie, they got... Stewie? Oh, my God, he's gone. Has anyone seen my son? Hello? Hey, it's the crows from Dumbo. Hey, you guys seen my son? Well, I done seen about everything, but I sure enough ain't seen your boy know how. Ah, that's good old-fashioned family racism. Um, uh, excuse me. Hi. Yeah, is, is there, like, a human resources guy we could talk to? Um... I have a work-related grievance. What? Well, the quarters are too crowded, the hours are long, and, uh, you know, I don't like to be this guy, but a couple of the overseers have been making racial slurs. Hey, cats, is everybody cool? Sammy Davis Jr.? What are you doing up here? Whatever Frank tells me to do, man. Hey, Sam, get back in here and carry my golf clubs. Yes, boss. Ah, uh, ha, ha, ha. Ew. Seems kind of racist, doesn't it? No, it's no, no, just because Sammy's in there. Okay. But he's still carrying the clubs. Hey, Cleveland, I just wanted to give you a heads up that Peter has a whip because, well, you know, given your racial heritage, it seems like something you might want to keep an eye out for. Grape soda, Graham. I know this is very risky, but the upside is so good, I'm taking it. You know, Cohog Estates is a very exclusive Blast. neighborhood. I got an invitation to go to the mayor's house. Uh-huh. So you're telling me if I ran these plates, they'd come back clean? Absolutely. Hold the attitude. You all remember the plan. We walk up wearing our Bill Cosby masks. Peter, that's President Obama. Oh, did I just do a racism? That's a great idea. Let's go to Harvard. Oh, I don't know, you guys. We'll be as out of place there as a black guy in Sweden. <gasps> black and sipping. Yeah, black and sipping. We're not the first people to be dragged off against our will. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? Damn it, I swear to God, I will turn this ship around. That works. Okay. Can we teach us a lesson? Yeah, that's even better. All right, if that's what you... Wait a minute! Oh, there, mailman. Me? No, the other black guy in shorts. Yes, you, here. Well, you, sir, are a racist, and a rude one at that. So, you're not a mailman? Okay, yes, I am a mailman, but these are my 1983 Maurice Cheeks shorts. Well, I thought it'd be good to get out of the house. I don't like the kids being around that racist sunflower that's grown in our yard. Hey, boy, 
Don't you come walking by this house. You're ignorant. Yeah, excuse me. I'd like to say a couple of truths to the men in this audience. It's your fault we have so much crime in this country, and it's your fault we have so much violence in this country. I love this town, but nothing is ever as innocent as it seems. Attaboy, Oak. I was thinking of writing an article about you for my school paper. Do you charge black guys more or less? Mm, that's a hard question to answer. Most of them get a group rate. Come on, Alice. Let's not talk about work. Ah, jail isn't prison. Prison is big and scary. Uh, jail is just a sleeping deputy with keys that can be grabbed by a long broom handle or a mischievous dog. Do black people ever go to jail? No, they go to prison. I must say, I do feel a strange satisfaction watching the black ball topple all those self-righteous white pins. Can't blame them for being self-righteous. The black ball's in their neighborhood uninvited. The black ball's done nothing wrong. <laughs> if the black ball's innocent, it has nothing to fear. Nah, I think I think we're done. I think we're done, guys. This is extremely funny, extremely racist, and sometimes like you, it feels <laughs> it feels so hard to be black. Nah, this this is this is weird. But if I'm being honest, I think I won't trade my color for anything in the world. Who black is perfection? Like it's it's perfect. But like I've seen some racist shit, and I've seen. So if I were actually waste it on my comment section and it's normal, I feel it's it's more like do you I'll do I'll do me like there's no hard feelings to it anymore. Okay, I think what you think about this video, then should like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time guys first.